While residing in the city of Elizabeth, Dr. Herrera became aware of the needs to impact positively the school system that did not adequately attend to the education of minorities. In this moment, it was achieved by a referendum in 1988 that the members of the Board of Education be elected by popular votes. In the first election, three were elected. As Board of Education member of the City of Elizabeth, and seeing the injustices committed to minorities, he decided to run for Councilman of Elizabeth. He was elected two consecutive terms, each of four years. In 1996, as a result of a heart attack, he had to drift away from politics after completing his second term. Dr. Orlando Edreira's political activities embarks his diverse contacts with public figures such as Dominican diplomat, Deputy Attorney General of the State, and later Judge Roberto Alcazar. Dr. Edreira with current Senator Robert Menendez campaigning with Senator Robert Torricelli. Dr. Edreira with ex-president of Dominican Republic Juan Bosch, his sister-in-law Dr. Quidiello, and Ambassador Dr. Alejandro Vicini at Dr. Juan Bosch's house. Dr. Edreira with Father Tomas Macho, ex-professor of College of Belén in Cuba and who accompanied Cuban troops when the landing of Playa Giron as a priest and who preserved as a prisoner in Cuba with the invading soldiers that disembarked. Dr. Edreira with Mayor of Torre la Vega of Spain. With then candidate for government of New Jersey, Jim Florio, and ex-Attorney General of the State of New Jersey, Sulima Farber. Dr. Edreira with a judge of the German courts when he served as observer of the Organization of American States during elections in Dominican Republic. Dr. Edreira giving a conference about his grandfather, the Cuban patriot Juan Gualberto Gomez at the Association of Ex-Cuban Political Prisoners. Dr. Jorge Madan, accompanied by Dr. Edreira's father, Juan Edreira Rodriguez. Dr. Edreira with Senator Bob Menendez in an act to fundraise for his senatorial campaign. Greeting ex-president Bill Clinton at the White House. Dr. Edreira with ex-governor Jim McGreevy. With Sulima Farber and president of the American Cuban Foundation, George Mascanosa, in a banquet to collect funds for the freedom of Cuba. Dr. Edreira, accompanied by Governor John Corzine and freeholder Angel Estrada during political campaign.